Until now, we have assumed that an RC low pass filter consists of one resistor and one capacitor. This configuration is called first order filter. The order of a passive filter is determined by the number of reactive elements, like for example capacitors or inductors, that are present in the circuit. A higher order filter has more reactive elements, and this leads to more phase shift and steeper roll-off. This second characteristic is the primary motivation for increasing the order of a filter. By adding one reactive element to a filter, like for example by going from first order to second order or second order to third order, we increase the maximum roll-off by 20 dB per decade. Steeper roll-off translates into a more rapid transition from low attenuation to high attenuation, and this can result in improved performance when the signal does not have a wide frequency band that separates the desired frequency components from the noise components. Second order filters are commonly built around a resonance circuit consisting of an inductor and a capacitor. This topology is also called as RLC, which comes from resistor, inductor, capacitor. However, it is also possible to create second order RC filters, as shown in the diagram, all we need to do is to cascade two first order RC filters. This topology is not widely used though, and as we will see in the future, the frequency response is often inferior to that of a second order active filter or a second order RLC filter. Now, we can attempt to create a second order RC low pass filter by designing a first order filter according to the desired cutoff frequency and then connecting two of these first order stages in series. What you have to remember is that a second order filter will have a steeper roll off, which in case of a second order will be maximum 40 dB per decade instead of 20 dB per decade like in a first order low pass filter.